Hello! In this tutorial I want to show you how you can implement a progress bar in your .NET application with C Sharp. Let's begin. Now open up our project from the previous video in which we made this app with the button and if we click the button it's going to open up a little message box which shows us a text. In this case it shows us hello, this is the title. Now we want a progress bar so go into the toolbox and type progress bar drag it onto here, scale it as long as you want it to be, perfect, and remember the name, that's the name progress bar 1, you can also rename it by going into here and let's say my first progress bar, perfect, hit enter, now we also need a timer, drag it onto here, it doesn't matter where you drag it because it shows up here and not here. So double click the timer and now we are in the timer method. It's timer underscore tick because everything what's executed in this function is going to be executed in one millisecond, in one single tick of the timer. You can change the value here in interval. If we make 110 the timer is going to tick 110 times, 110 milliseconds. Now, we want to increment our progress bar every millisecond by one until it reaches 100 after 110 milliseconds. So let's do progress bar. Oh no, we actually named our progress bar my first progress bar dot increment one. In our button property, we have to start the timer by doing timer1.start. Now, if we run the program and we click the button, it increments our progress bar. Now, we can actually make this faster because it's taking a little bit too long time. Let's make it 75. And now when the progress bar finishes, so it reaches 100%, we want it to open a message box which gives us some text. So let's go into the timer property and type if my first progress bar dot value double equal 99 open the brackets and write message box dot show success now why did we choose 99 and not 100 that's because if the progress bar reaches 100 percent it stays on 100 percent and if we ask for 100%, it's going to spam our message box and our computer will crash. And of course, we don't want it. Now, run our app and hit the hello button. Now, our progress bar is incrementing. We are waiting for it. Now, it reaches 99% and it says success. Perfect. You have successfully learned how you can implement a progress bar into your c .NET application. If you want more of the tutorials I make, please subscribe to my channel and like the video, as it helps me out very much. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.